Hello students. Welcome to today's question and answer video. In our previous videos, you have done the analysis and recap of the play The Dear Departed. Now let us answer some questions from the play. Why was the dress code black for the day in the Slater household? Mrs. Amelia Slater was convinced that her father, Abel Merriweather, had passed away, and so the entire family had gathered to mourn for the dead man. The dress code was black as it is the color of mourning and grief in western society. What decision did Abel Merriweather take regarding his will and his future? Abel Merriweather decided to make a new will and leave all his belongings to whoever he was living with at the time of his death. He also decided to marry Mrs. John Sherrix, who was the keeper of the public house named Ringo Bells. I'll tell you what I've got to do on Monday next. I've got to do three things. Who speaks these words? Who is it addressed to? These words are spoken by Abel Merriweather. It is addressed to his family consisting of his daughters Amelia Slater and Elizabeth Shorden. Their husbands and the Slaters is 10-year-old daughter Victoria. What three things had the speaker decided to do? The speaker had decided to visit the lawyer and alter his will, to pay his insurance premium and to get married to Mrs. John Shorrox of Ringobells at St. Philip's Church. In what way is the play a satire? Elizabeth Jordan and Amelia Slater have neglected their elderly father, Abel Merriweather, for a long time. Both the Slater and the Jordan families are only interested in Merriweather's wealth and belongings. Thinking that Merriweather is no more, they gather at the Slater's house to mourn his death because they are greedy for the share of his property. The author gives us glimpses of the characters' true natures and feelings for the elderly Merriweather, while they pretend to be devastated by his death. This play thus uses the irony or humor to criticize and expose the greedy, cunning, and self-centered nature of the characters and therefore can be called a satire. Discuss two common characteristics of Amelia and Elizabeth. Amelia and Elizabeth are greedy, materialistic hypocrites who do not care about their father and only value his wealth. Amelia tries to steal the bureau and the American clock before Elizabeth's arrival. Elizabeth Jordan coaxes their father, Abel Merriweather, to move in with her and her husband when he mentions that he will bestow his property to the daughter with whom he is living at the time of his death. Thus, Mrs. Slater and Mrs. Jordan are equally cunning and self-centered. Why were they shocked to see Abel Merriweather alive? The Slaters and the Jordans were shocked to see Abel Merriweather alive as they had already concluded that he was dead. Moreover, they wanted to divide his wealth and belonging amongst themselves. With that, we come to the end of today's question and answer video. Hope this helps you in your revision. See you soon.